right, I am out here in Orange Beach, Alabama for another secret fishing spot review. So, if you look behind me, I am out at Lake Shelby again. That's the Gulf State Park. Uh, this is a different bridge than last week if you saw my video. Uh, to kind of help you out, give you an idea, if you look right behind me, right there, that's the bridge from last week. So if you can find that from last week's video, go watch it. Uh, that's where it's at. Use that as a point of reference. You want to kind of look a little bit um, northeast a little bit uh, from that bridge to get to here. And you can see this bridge from there. Um, but look how beautiful this is. Look at how gorgeous it is. So, again, this is Lake Shelby. It's in the Gulf State Park. Um, open water for days. Over 900 acres in the Gulf State Park. You got to come here, check it out. It is beautiful. To kind of show you the walkway that I used to get here. Now, it's a little difficult finding this spot as opposed to obvious, you know, an obvious bridge over there. But um, like I said, use that bridge as a point of reference and just look right across and you'll see where this is at. This has a uh, pull off for a trail, a walking trail. It's probably about a quarter of a mile, maybe a little more for the walking trail. So it's actually a good bit of a walk. Um, bring your bug spray, especially after it rains like this morning. Bring your bug spray because there's going to be deer flies, horse flies. You're going to have to get through all that to get to here. So. But I want to take a minute and kind of explain um, what to use in this type of water. Uh, Lake Shelby, obviously, it's fresh water for the most part. I say the most part because it lets out in the little lagoon. Um, I've actually seen speckled trout come out of that. So, um, despite what people may tell you, maybe somewhat brackish at some points. So, you're going to have brim, you're going to have smallmouth, largemouth. Uh, I suggest using either. Um, some spoons to get those uh, more stubborn fish um, let me show you what I got on mine right now that's what I'm working with just a little one not you know anything special but you want to stick with that you're gonna need something that's gonna attract them um, this water isn't the most clear that you would typically think of a freshwater lake uh, the depths probably about five to six feet uh, and then it gets a little deeper as you go out in those open waters, but stick with your spoons, your uh, green pumpkin, plastic worms, some frogs. Um, I've seen turtles out here, I've seen ducks out here, so just be careful with that. The turtles are a little more aggressive than what I'm used to. Uh, by that I mean, you know, sometimes when I'm lazy I'll just put a bobber on mine if I just want to let it sit out there. And some of the turtles will eat the bobbers, so just keep that in mind. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful out here. Just check this out. And what's good is that it has a little bench here. Let me show you. It has a little bench here and then a walkway. And a good reference point you can use is that pole. You see that large pole? That actually has an outlet on it. So you can bring, you know, radios, fans. You can bring things that, you know, you want to use uh, for camping, uh, for the afternoon, or a picnic, something like that. Um, it's, it's a really good point of reference that you can use is that tall pole because there's no other pole that's like it around here. As you can tell, the trees aren't that tall. It's open water. And then if you just look for that tall pole, there, there it is. It's right there. This tree that you see in front of you, it actually opens up behind there. Uh, a lot of folks use that for photos. Uh, opens up into a, a more open area where you can set up picnics, like I said. Uh, but it's really cool. It's a really cool area. Can I show you here? It opens up a little bit. And the ducks like to come down this waterway right here. Now, if you keep going left, you're going to pass through the overpass. And if you see that intersection right there, um, you know, that's that's Beach Street, essentially, is what it is. And that's where I was at last week, as I mentioned. So, you can use all these for a point of reference, but you can actually see a little turtle out there with its head popping above the surface right now. But you definitely want to stick with your spoons for this area if they're not that aggressive. They're a lot more aggressive on that bridge over there uh, where I caught a few small mouth and a large mouth. So um, stick with your green pumpkin colors. Uh, some popper frogs will be good. Um, but you want to look for that pole, like I said, that tall pole. Uh, when you're driving, you can see it from the street. You can see it from a few different intersections. Um, now the parking. The parking is weird because it's, like I said, right next to the bridge where the trail starts. 
Um, obviously you can't park near the bridge because they have it all blocked off for uh, walking and biking and stuff like that. So you're going to have to pull off. Make sure that you pull off in an area that isn't marked with no parking. I'm not condoning any sort of parking or anything like that in an illegal spot. So find a spot to park safely. Take a walk out here and it is absolutely beautiful. And we will catch you next time. Fishing spot reviewed, fishing spot approved. See you later.